How you guys doing? My name is Desmond Combs with Combs Premier Realty Group. And in this video, I want to discuss with you guys Divi Homes in 2023. We're going to talk about everything from the qualifications, the buyback price, and the buying process. Everything you need to know in order to get you a home with Divi in 2023. So if you're looking to buy a home with Divi in 2023, you're in the right place. So let's go over the minimum qualifications for this program so you guys know exactly what you need in order to qualify to get into a Divi home. So the minimum credit score is still going to be 550, although we all know this program does not work well if you have less than a 600 credit score. So credit score is 500, but we recommend you coming in at 600. You need to have a debt to income ratio no higher than 50%. No evictions, no bankruptcies in the last 12 months and you need to have at least 2% of whatever the purchase price of the home is ready to go in case you get the offer accepted. So those are the minimum qualifications for this home. Now remember, your overall approval is based off of your income and your debt to income ratio. So even if you have a 600 credit score and you have no evictions, no bankruptcies, but you just don't make enough to meet the minimum qualifications as far as the purchase price in your area, you'll still get a decline and it'll be just based off of your income to debt to income ratio. So just keep that in mind. You need to make sure that you make enough income or have enough income on the application, whether it's you adding a co-signer or whatever the situation might be so that you can get the budget you want in order to purchase this home. And so those are the minimum qualifications to purchase a house with Divi. Once we get you approved, that's just like money in the bank. Whatever purchase price they give you, whether it's 250, 300,000, 400,000, whatever that dollar amount is, we can go shopping for any home that's on the market. Now Divi has their own inventory that they currently own. So if you happen to like a home that Divi currently owns, the process gets a little bit easier. All you have to do is just basically select that home. We go view the home. If you like that home, then you can, actually purchase that home directly from Divi without having to go through this entire process that I'm about to go over. But for everybody else who likes a home that's on the open market, we can choose any home that's on the open market just, along, just as long as the HOA in that community allows Divi to rent that home. So that's uh, been coming up a lot here in Florida. You know, we have a lot of HOAs in the different communities, so we have to make sure that before we go forward with the purchase process that uh, we do an HOA check to make sure that the HOA is going to allow Divi to rent that home. So once we select you a home from the MLS, we're going to put an offer on that home. And so what happens is if the seller accepts that offer, we have to make sure that the house can pass an inspection. So before we even get to the part of selecting a house to put, uh, to put an offer on, we want to make sure that we're doing our due diligence uh, to make sure we're picking homes that are move-in ready. Divi will not purchase any kind of flip home, homes that needs a lot of renovation. You need to be able to move in that home that very next day. So keep that in mind. Is better the home looks, the more renovated it is, the easier this process is going to go because the inspector is going to go out. No matter how much you love that house, the inspector has got to go out. And once the inspector goes out, he's going to check that house from the top to the bottom. He's going to give you like a 50 to 100 page report detailing everything that he or she finds wrong with that home. And so anything that comes up on that inspection report, no matter how minor, he's going to put it on the inspection report and we're going to go over it. Now, anything that comes up that's really major, we're definitely asking the seller to take care of that in the form of uh, giving us credits toward closing in order to take care of that stuff after we close. Now, Divi has their own repair team, so you don't have to worry about finding, you know, who's going to fix this, who's going to fix that. Divi has their own team that will come in and actually fix uh, anything that we find on the, on the inspection report. So just keep that in mind. So if we get through that part, the house checks out past the inspection part, now, here's the part where you need to put down your 2% or whatever that purchase price is. You, before we move forward, Divi has to make sure that you have the 2% in order to move forward. So once you submit your payment to Divi and pay your first month's rent, you're going to get to sign your lease occupancy agreement. Now, this is the agreement that's going to show you how much you're going to pay for the house, how much your rent is going to be every month, how much uh, your buyback price is going to be, everything you need to know about this home before we move forward. And so. The beautiful thing about the Divi buyback price, since we're on that part, let's talk about how, what the major change was that Divi made. Prior to this year, the Divi buyback price was set at 18 months and 36 months. So basically, you only had two options. You know, So the buyback price was kind of high, and so that was 
a real turnoff for a lot of people who reached out to me. They were just like, I, I can buy the house back, you know, within six, seven months. I don't need 18 months to buy it back. And it's, you know, it's costing me a lot more to buy it back at 18 months. And so Divi's been listening. They heard you guys. And so they have now broken up the uh, buyback price every 12 months. So you have a 12 month buyback price, a 24 month buyback price, and now a 36 month buyback price. The 12 month buyback price is 6%. So that is really good. As far as I can uh, recall, that's probably uh, one of the better buyback price in the rent to own space. Uh, you know, there's one other company out there that's probably a little lower, but overall at 6%, that's pretty good buyback price for, uh, for Divi compared to where they used to be last year. So the buyback price for the first year is gonna be set at 6%. So that's the beautiful thing about this program now. And so once we get to that part where you've signed everything, you've agreed to the terms, you paid your money, now we just clear the close. Once we clear the close, everything's gonna be turned over to the Divi closing team. They'll get you in contact with the people who are gonna be in control of you uh, basically paying your rent and who's gonna be in charge of the repairs. Anything that happens in the house or whatever, you'll need to keep up with these contact information that they give you because that's gonna be your main resource in order to get anything repaired, any work orders you, you have to do in the home. Because remember, this is a rental own home. You don't own it until you buy it back. So anything major happens at the house, you need to make sure you reach out to Divi in order to get that taken care of. So that's the process. You know, once we get the keys, you know, within, you know, from the time you fill out the application, it takes about three to five days in order to get the application approved, fully approved. Once you get it fully approved, it takes about another 15 days if we locate a home pretty close to the time you close. So you can be looking at anywhere from like a 20 day process if everything goes according to plan from the time you fill out the application to the time you get the keys to the home. And then from that point, we're just working on trying to buy it back. You know, so I got plenty of solutions for you guys. If you want to learn out how to buy the home back using a program like NACA, where you could potentially get your money back in form of a check because NACA is no down payment, no closing costs, no PMI. So any money that you've already put into the Divi program, you're not you know, gonna use that in order to close on the home. So now you'll get that money back in the form of a check. But we'll do another video. We'll talk about that another time. So that's the Divi process. So if you got any questions on how to get approved, if you wanna sign up, make sure you message me or click that link below. I look forward to hearing from you soon.